Good morning. Hello. Okay. Let's leave the horses here off the main road. All right, gentlemen. Here we are. Okay. Get ready. Keep it cool and follow me, fellas. We never decided. Is it lost little girl you want or the drunk and harlot? Uh, of course, you know I like the harlot. You're the only one. You're a bunch of filthy sinners and the heartbreakers, Zelaya. <laughs> now, where is he? If you're ready, get going. Good luck, gentlemen. We got this. himself in here. Come here. <laughs> Open a lockbox as now. I uh, the, the manager does that. Uh, I God damn it. Now what? Get off, crack them or blow them up. Keep an eye out. I'll be as quick as I can. Reckon I'm gonna have to blow them. Okay. We gotta move before they blow. Oh. The law will be all over us. Now, you shut the hell up and be still.
you do it! How are you getting on? Going as fast as I can. We need to get out of here. How's it looking there? Good, I told you. Don't count your chickens just yet. Gentlemen, hurry! We seem to have some company. Last one. Good, we gotta move. Sorry, partner. <clears throat> Shit, hurry up! I heard, go on! We got the place surrounded! But some folk ain't getting there, you won't swing! I said come out now! What do we do? I don't know, give me a second. If the shooting starts, you're all dead! I'll go. Follow me. What are you, insane? Probably. Don't shoot! Don't shoot him! I made a terrible mistake! Get out of there, miss! Sorry!
think we lost him. Thank you, gentlemen. That was... Stupid and dangerous. Thank you, Bill. <laughs> we're alive and we're paid. Yeah. I don't see the problem. <laughs> and that is the problem. <laughs> Bill, <laughs> this you. is a very good take. That you'll be happy. Even if it did come with a heap of trouble. Ah, it was fun. <laughs> well, maybe you're right. Now, go on, get out of here. I have some other business to attend to. Go directly back to camp and make sure you are followed. <sighs> okay. This is down. Yeah. It's not cold in the ground, and you come back here, Archie. I nearly paid off what was owed. Your husband knew the rules when he took that money. Now, I'm real sorry about the way things turned out, but he had a choice. It ain't my fault about the way the world is. He didn't have a choice. He was good, and he did good. There wasn't no choice in that. And you was good as killed him yourself, and don't kid yourself. You had a choice. You speak as if killing was something I cared about. You ever wonder about eternity? You should. I hope it's hot and terrible, Mrs. Downs. Otherwise, I'll feel I've been sold a false bill of goods. Now, please, give me that money. <sighs> Either you got a lazy eye or lack of respect. Which is it, boy? I ain't got no lazy eye. No respect for the likes of you. Well, maybe when your mother's finished mourning your father, I'll keep her in black on your behalf. You think on that, boy? Well, maybe you shall, sir. And maybe other events will transpire. You best stick to them books, because mark my words on this. Vengeance is an idiot's game. Ah, Mrs. Downs, thank you for your punctuality. It's next to godliness, isn't it? That's cleanliness. I'll have to take your word on that. Good day.
Yo, Kaku. Yeah, I'm gonna do some sniffing around and see if I can drum up some leaves. We're stuck in the ship now, Mr. Morgan. In the ship. We're drowning in mud. For a man of the cloth, you have quite a way with words. Words are the very least of my problems. This is not what I want to deal with right now, okay? Well, excuse me. Mr. Morgan! Morgan! Reverend? Hello! Hello! What do you want? I'm not... I'm not quite sure. Oh. This keeps happening. Hey, boy.
Don't they? Oh my, sir, welcome back. Well, quite the price tag on little old you. I bet there's some very disappointed bounty hunters just outside. Thanks, partner. with the mystery box? I will owe you my whole life. No lie. But uh, uh, let, me, let me buy you something from the store. Whatever you want, it's on me. <laughs> okay. Appreciate it. Having conquered evil the way I have, it's the least a humble man can do. What can I do for you? Yeah, well, you yeah. Know, guy with the snake box says I can Put something here on his tab. That fool? Jesus. If it's not one thing, it's another with him. But he pays his old, so who am I to argue? Let me know what you choose. I'll add it to his list.
I'll let him know. You're paying next time, though. sure if I'd see you again. So, what are you in the market for? Now, let me see. That should be good. <sighs> that gun seems to be well taken care of. Got some nice parts for that gun, you know. Sold a few of those to some very discerning customers. This here store's as proud and fine as the town it lives in. Oh, yes. Not done shopping? All right. Looks like you're taking care of that weapon. Good to see. If you're serious about your shooting, you'll want to add sights to your gun. That's a wise investment. Interested in engraving some? Make that weapon your own.
I outfitted the sheriff and all his deputies, you know. Yes, sir, I did. Sold a shotgun to a hunter last week. Made near twenty dollars in sales to the butcher this week alone. Where's my cut, huh? <laughs> I've heard some unsavory things about that salesman, Virgil Fish or something. And the Yankee sympathizing is the least of it. Thanks. Hey, stupid! Out of the way! Good God, all. Hey, see there. Company help me. Cap? Cap? I've lost my friend. Somebody help me, please. Good morning to you. Uh, listen, have you seen... I I'm looking for my friend, Gavin. I don't know any Gavins, I'm afraid. An English bloke. Lovely fella. He went missing, and, uh, now I'm all alone. Good luck. That's, uh, that's too bad. Can I help you there? Sure. They're supposed to be my business partners here. They arranged a meeting, I believe, about some horses. A fellow with a scar and a Mexican? Yes, sir. 
out by the stables. Thank you. Have a wonderful day now. in this town and you're helping everybody and everywhere and have you met my partner arthur morgan no i met your son the sheriff okay mr gray here was saying how he had problems with a family a family of degenerates oh well nobody likes degenerates the hag and her inbred sons they ruined this county they killed my uncle you know that ain't right Problem is, we can't be seen to get too close. And? We've got gold, Yankee. We've got gold. I ain't no Yankee, friend. I ain't nothing. My daddy came over on the boat from Scotland. I'm Scottish. And the Braithwaites? Goddamn peasants! I don't know. Mongrels! Slave fuckers! All you gotta do is look at them. How much gold? Enough. These are prized horses I'm talking about. Them, they'll get you 5,000. 5,000 for horses? Easy. And where do we sell them, these $5,000 horses? Over in Clemens Cove. Fellow over there will run them out of state and give you 50 cents on the dollar. Mister, you got yourself a deal. Just keep us away from this. Publicly, I mean. My sense is we keep all horse wrestling away from the public. Go to the stables on the south side of the manor. That's where they keep the thoroughbreds. Out of the room! The old fool. You should see the Braithwaite woman. Jose and Sean were planning on going over to the Braithwaite. You haven't seen them? No, not yet. If they're there already, they better keep their heads down. You don't need this to be any more complicated than it already is. Five thousand dollars for horses. We've been robbing the wrong folk all these years. Yeah. He doesn't know. a third of that. It'll be worth it. So how are we gonna play this? The place is well guarded, so there ain't no point in blasting in there. Make them think we're there looking to purchase. Three armed men? You'd be armed if you were about to spend 5,000 on horses. We should go in the back way, though. Avoid too many questions. Speak to him, okay? <sighs> All right, then. Can I help you, gentlemen? Yeah, we're here to see about some horses. Horses? Yeah, we had a, an appointment with Mr. Braithwaite, I believe. Yeah, I never heard about any of this. Our partner wanted to make a significant investment in some stables down here. But perhaps we should look elsewhere. Well, I... Okay, then. Let's head on to the stables. Someone will come see you. That's it. Nice and easy. No need to rush. We don't want to draw in. Unnecessary attention. All right, 
think that's the state just up ahead. Heads down, play it cool. Head around the front, hedge up there. Let's hitch up here. You can rest now, boy. Let me do the talking. Hello there. Can I help you, boys? I hope so. Heard you got some horses. We always got horses. Fine horses, I mean. I don't get you, friend. Yeah, you do. Come on. Listen, why don't you get out of here? You, Scarface, and your greaser buddy. Whoa! I don't like officials. We ain't officials. We're connoisseurs, looking to do some breedings. Come on now, partner. Okay, fine. Follow me. These here's mainly the studs, available for purchase or for working. That's what you're interested in? What is you boys interested in? We represent a famous uh, stable and stud farm from uh, Saratoga. Is that so? Unofficially. Of course. Well, this here's Cerberus. Here you go, boy. Cerberus is a real reliable stud. A hot greaser, huh? Okay. Bandana's on. Don't need nobody recognizing us. All right, I'll grab the white one in the middle. You get the other two. Relax, boy. Come on. Good boy. Whoa, whoa. E Easy now. <laughs> Marshal, you're going to tether him up to Javier's horse. OK. Javier, you're going to lead the stallions. Easy, easy. It's okay, boy. Easy, boy. Good boy. This way. Come on. Marston, you ride point. I'll cover up the back. If there's any problems, we regroup at Clemens Cove. Okay. What are you doing? Let's go, quick! Go, get out of here! I got what the hell are you doing? Stop! Stop! We'll be here, Rob! These men! Stop! Look out ahead! We're coming out of the fields! Yeah. 
One of the stallions is loose. Keep going. I'll get him. Just over there. Come on. Let's get this over with. Well, that could have gone smoother. That'll be on my gravestone. Hey, hey! You think they look like they're paying 5000 for horses? I guess we'll see. What you boys want? Heard you was, uh, heard you pay good prices for horses. Oh, we'll buy more or less anything, Pop. That so? Sure, Pop. I'm Clay Davies. That's my brother, Clive. We're twins. John, Arthur, Javier. <laughs> so what are you, Cuban? No, I don't like Cubans. That so? Maybe. Well, what do you care? You ain't Cuban. Maybe I like Cubans. <laughs> Whoo, you're funny. He's funny. Ain't he funny, Clive? Clive don't talk. We're twins, but I was born first. He came out all yellow and black, but he's okay. Ah. Sure. Yeah, I know these horses. They, they ain't yours. But I like you, and I'll give you... I can give you 654. <laughs> I was told we could get up to $5,000 for them. And I was told the moon was made of ladies' tears. Only it ain't true. Not one little bit. But... I like you, boys. But I ain't got more than 700 on me. You want it, or you want to ride them fellers into town, and maybe someone there will hang you. We're gonna need more than that. I ain't got no more money, Pop. Here, take it or leave it. Uh-huh. All right. You goddamn fool, Marston. Ain't no one around here got $5,000, boys, but nice meeting you. See you boys again, I hope. Come on, yeah. Close the gate, Clive. Believed a yarn spun us by one of that gray family and imagined we was gonna be wonderfully rich. At the end of it, we felt like prize idiots. Morning, Arthur. Morning. Like your new home? Won't miss that other place, that's for sure.
Step up. Don't be shy, pal. Welcome back, friend. Got anything good for me by any chance? Take more if you want. Fine, fine. You will love that, I swear. Trust nobody's missing this. Thanks, Mister. What? Yep.
That's it. Okay, fella. Yep. You'll have to find your own patch of dirt. I beat it. Get out of my sight! Ever see a man die? <laughs> This here All is right, done. Look out, mister. Excuse me.
some company till you get back. Let's get. Let's go. Pleasant travels. Partner. Hey, brother. Hey, mister. Mister. I never learned your name. I never did. You're like a brother. But I didn't learn your name. And I said to myself, Mickey, you never learned that fella's name. Now, you'll never see him again. And you'll be sad. Like when your puppy passed. Because you slept on it. What's your name, mister? Arthur. Arthur? My uncle's name was Arthur. Uncle Arthur, we called him on account of his name. It's a fine name, a strong name, like a king. You could be my king, Mr. Arthur. Yes, you could.
Howdy. Can I help you? I see you're looking for a horse. We got lots of horses to choose from. What sort of horse are you looking for? Real fine saddles here. You can't have too much with you out in the wilderness. It's better to equip yourself and not need it than the other way around. Good saddle will go a real long way, trust me. It'll look great on your horse. You've made a great decision there. Nothing better than a well-groomed horse. Great. Horse back anytime. 